Hey, this is Miss Lucas. I am the software development instructor and you are taking year one, which focuses on web development. Web development is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the triad of the internet. It's not Illuminati, it's triad. Um, so make sure that you've read over our course website. You've seen all the information, completed all the activities up until this point um, so that we're all starting at the same place. I have some students that are learning virtually and I have some students that are in the classroom. Um, normally, if you were in the classroom, I would demonstrate on the whiteboard. I would move around the classroom to help you and I could see students that were struggling. I could see students that had it nailed. But in this case, it's going to be different. It's, it's a different kind of experience this year. So what I recommend, I'm going to post these tutorials in YouTube. So pull up YouTube on one side of your screen, pull up whatever software we're using on the other side of the screen, and then work alongside me. It's important that you are actually performing the tasks that I'm demonstrating. We learn best by doing. It may not be that I grade every task that you complete, but I promise you I'm not making a video and posting it on YouTube unless I think it's important. Um, so take the time to to do those, you can do them multiple times. You can pause it if you need more support. Um, also know that I am here to help you. It is literally my job. So if you have questions, if you're struggling with something, uh, something doesn't make sense to you, do not be afraid to ask. You can reach me via email. We can always jump on a Zoom call and I can look at your code on your computer. Um, you can send me your code and I can help you evaluate what's going on. Just don't be afraid to ask for that support. I am so excited about this year. I hope you are too. Uh, and no matter your experience, whether you're here in the classroom or you're at home, we're going to have a great year. Okay, so now on to our first tutorial where we make our first HTML web page. Awesome. Bye guys. Happy coding. Okay, it's our first tutorial. Let's look at what HTML is. HTML is just a set of markup symbols. They're codes we place on a file. And then a web browser interprets that file. A web browser being like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Microsoft Edge, um, Apple Safari. It reads all those markup symbols and translates it into something that the user finds appealing. Now, the World Wide Web Consortium they set those standards for HTML, so that helps ensure that um, HTML is interpreted largely the same by different browsers. For instance, a drop-down box on one website looks about the same um, on Google Chrome as it does on M Mozilla Firefox. Uh, but we'll, we'll learn more about World Wide Con uh, Web Consortium as we move on. Um, so in, I'm oh, sorry, wrong way, one more. One more, one more. There we go. Um, HTML elements, each markup code is represented by an element. And all of these elements have certain purposes. They do certain things. They may bold text. They may italicize text. They may help text appear in a certain location on the page. And most of these elements are coded as a pair. We have an opening tag, and then we have a closing tag. But some do not. Some are void tags, which means the tag does not need a closing tag. The opening tags and closing tags are all encapsulated in angle brackets. These are the little less than greater than signs. Um, and let's see what that looks like. Let's open up Visual Studio Code. And there is a tutorial already about how to open that up and work with that uh, on our website. So if you have not already viewed that, make sure you view that. Uh, let's create a new file if you already don't have one, um, and you should see something that looks like this, okay? Now, where do I want you to save your files? Hopefully, you have already reviewed the video that shows you how to set up your Google Drive. You need a Google Drive folder that is saving your content to the cloud so that I can see it and then you can access it from any computer. Um, if you do not understand how to do that, you need to email me. Okay, 
So if we start typing right now, and I'm just going to type some gibberish, you'll see that it's not colored. Even if we include angle brackets, which is what HTML code looks like, it's not colored. That's because we have not saved the document. So when we start a new document from scratch, the first thing that we need to do is save it. You need to save it in your Google Drive shared folder, preferably in your chapter one folder or chapter two folder, whatever chapter that we're working on, so that I can easily uh, review or find your files. Um, if you need help doing that, I'll help you. Just let me know. Um, okay, so we'll do file save as, and then I'm going to save this on the desktop, but you need to save it in your Google Drive. Okay, so I'm just going to save it as basic web page.html. You have to include the file extension when you're working in Visual Studio Code because you can code or you can create so many different file types with code. You can code in a lot of different languages using this integrated development environment. So we have to tell it, hey, we're using HTML. Okay, so once you have saved it with the file extension, click save. And you'll notice down here, this changed from what it said plain text now to HTML. Now when we type certain angle brackets, you'll see they're already appearing in color. Okay? The first statement that we add to any web, pi web page is the doc type statement. The doc type statement looks something like this. It's an exclamation point, a capital D-O-C-T-Y-P-E, and then we have a space and lowercase HTML. This is a void element. It does not have a closing tag. This tells the browser that we are going to be using HTML5, okay? Because there were previous versions of HTML. We're using HTML5. Okay, press enter. And the next thing that we need to do is actually start our HTML. So this is what the browser is going to start interpreting as, hey, this is my actual HTML file. We also add an attribute to this, setting the language to English. Okay. Now, once you hit that closing angle bracket, you'll notice that it created a closing tag for this element. Closing tags have this slash. Um, and then whatever tag we opened with. Um, this tag in this case is the end of the HTML document. So this tag for right now and for most of the semester will be the last tag that you see in your document. Okay, so this HTML tag is going to be the last one. Everything else we need to type within those two. Okay, within our opening HTML and our closing HTML. The next section is the head section. The head section is usually just content that's not even registered on the browser. Um, the title is, but it's in a different place. This is information that um, helps your website be found on the internet. It helps your um, your screen to your excuse me your browser to show. Your, your code correctly depending on different screen sizes. There's all sorts of things that we can do in the head section. For right now, we're going to include a title. And this title is what appears on the tab. And we'll look at that in a moment. It appears on the tab of the browser. And notice the closing title. This is the text that will appear on the title. So what's in between the opening title tag and the closing title tag is what will appear on our browser title. Let me just go ahead and show you what that looks like um, since we're here already. And you'll see here it appears as tab text on the tab. Okay, We don't have anything yet in the body of our HTML document, so it just appears blank. Okay, let's add some metadata. This metadata is for the character encoding. Remember in unit zero, we looked at Unicode and ASCII. This is saying how we are encoding our characters. We're using UTF-8. Now this should always, these two things should always be in your head section. In your head section, you should always have the title. You should always have the character encoding. But we may also add other things to the head section. We may add CSS, we may add JavaScript, and we may add more metadata, okay? 
Now that concludes our head section. So below our closing head tag, we begin our body. And the body is the body of the HTML document. Like what is going to appear here in our browser? Now we're going to continue to build on this, but for right now, let's just do a simple hello world. Okay, so in our body, let's just say hello world. Okay, and then if you have set up your Visual Studio code correctly, you should be able just to press Alt B on the keyboard. The reason you're able to do this is because we set up an extension um, that was open in browser. And if you have installed this, this extension, you can use the command shortcut Alt B and it will open in your default web browser, okay? So let's look at what that looks like. And we have a simple hello world, okay? You have made your first basic web page, so stay tuned for the next tutorial where we'll learn more and we'll continue to add to um, this basic structure.